Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day today. So today's video is part two of my Box of Charm unboxings for the month of April. I'm a little late on it but I'm getting caught up on everything. So yeah, I am unboxing the base box in today's video. Okay, so before we get into it, just letting you guys know you're going to hear some weird noises with Devin walking around and the dogs are here. So you're going to hear them walking around or hear them bumping into stuff or he gets them riled up when he comes home. So just a heads up. But the first item that we're going to talk about in today's video is from Frank Body. Now I got an item from them in my Lux box as well. But this is the Brightening Vitamin C Mask. This is for baddies who bite the forbidden fruit and then mask with it. Okay. This in the box. I knew there was something vitamin C or citrus in the box because when I opened it up the smell just hits you in the face and I'm not complaining about it because I love that scent. I have not had a chance to use this yet but I will in an upcoming video. I'm getting ready to declutter all my skincare and stuff and I want to see, I don't want everything open all at once so I'm going to wait until I get everything taken care of and then I'll make sure I come back to the video and update it or I'll just tell you guys in a future video. But if any of you like this, if you had any good experiences, bad experiences with it, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know so I know what to look out for when I do try it. Continuing on with our skincare products, this is the repeat item for me in this box. Um, there was another item that was in a previous box, but I didn't get it then. So this is the only true repeat. This is from Generation Skin, and it's the Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. See? I haven't even opened this one and here is mine. I did not mind that I got a second one of these in my box because I really enjoyed them. I am trying my best to get into more skincare and I'm, I have tons of she masks and eye masks like the patch, the patch masks and I don't use them. I end up hoarding them and they end up going bad and I have to get rid of them. But I'm trying to make myself use up all of these and I'm going to start with this one First. I'm gonna finish it and I'm glad I have a backup whenever I go circle back around but these I really enjoy I love the packaging on this I love the fact that the patches themselves are blue for some reason I don't know why it would affect it but it does they left my skin feeling very hydrated and kind of had a cooling effect to them the next time that we have is from rare beauty and this is the I cannot remember what they call it it is the always an optimist illuminating primer and when they say illuminating, they are not kidding. <laughs> I put this on for today's video. And when I applied it, I seriously felt like the Tin Man. It is so shiny, but it doesn't show up through your foundation once you have everything on. It is very hydrating. It left my skin feeling very comfortable. The foundation that I used, I think I need something a little bit more hydrating. So maybe not the, like if you have oily skin I don't think this will drive you crazy I think you would be fine with it and we will see how well it does as far as longevity for my makeup because I had the full face on we'll see what happens throughout the day I really like rare beauty as a whole I want to try more products from them I like the the whole aesthetic the packaging on everything I want to try the liquid blushes I want to try her liquid highlighters I want to try her foundation I want to try it all if you have any recommendations on which Rare Beauty products I should try first, make sure you drop those below in the comment section. This next item, this is the one that is technically a repeat for the box, but it's new to me. I missed out on the I missed out on it on the first time. But we have a brush set from Luxie Beauty. The majority of my brushes are Luxie Beauty, in case you didn't know, and I love each and every one of them. Their brushes are top quality. And whenever I saw this set with the mint brushes and the pack the little pouch here even the mint sponge. I was so bummed out that I missed out on it. And I meant to use this for today's video, but I forgot I had it. I had everything on my desk, but I had a mess of stuff everywhere. I just overlooked it. Everything in this set does come individually wrapped and is going to include a blending eyeshadow brush. You have a stamping eyeshadow brush, and this is really good for placing on your eyelid with shimmers. Their brushes are really good for that. You also have a concealer brush, which I was kind of surprised to see in this collection, but I'm glad they included it because this particular shape is perfect for doing cut creases. And then you also have a liner brush. And they feel like really good quality. I'm really excited to try this out. And you also get a mini makeup sponge. I've gotten a trio set from them before with Boxy Charm, and their sponges are nice. Uh, they're super soft. They get super big and fluffy, and they're great. And I just think this is just a really cute set. The little carrying case is adorable. 
and I hope that anyone who loves brushes, you're trying to build up your brush collection, I hope you got this because this is a really nice set. And the last thing that came in the box, this is a new brand to BoxyCharm. This is from Lauren Conrad and it's just called The Eyeliner. Whenever I saw this, I was excited for it because I'm a huge fan of Lauren Conrad. Back when she was on the hills, I have been keeping up with her products that she carries at Kohl's. I really enjoy them. Like even the ring that I have on right now, this is from her collection. I love her jewelry especially. I'm more into those more delicate pieces. I don't really like the big chunky statement pieces. I just, I don't really know what to ever wear with them, but more of the simpler delicate pieces. They're, you can wear it with anything. You can layer them, you can wear as much of it, and they just work really well, and I like the aesthetic. So when I saw that this was going to be in the box, I was very happy. The only thing that it reminds me of with the makeup, do you guys remember whenever James Charles got the PR package from her, and she sent her all, or she sent him all empty containers? Like, none of the products actually had makeup in it. And she actually reached out to him. He was kind of snotty whenever it came to how he reacted with it. But she was very professional and like publicly apologized and said, Hey, we apologize. We sent out our, like it was testing or something like that. It was test tubes where they were trying to figure out the packaging on this. Somehow those had avertly got sent to him. But she handled it really well. Now as far as the formula itself, it is a brush tip eyeliner. And they say on there that you need to shake well before use. They are serious about it. Whenever I first used it, it was kind of a, a lighter, like it was, it was like a watered down eyeliner. And I was like, oh my gosh. But I did shake it up really well. And when I used it, you could tell the second that the pigmentation hit that brush. It was so pigmented. It dried down super fast and it's matte. It is just everything you want in eyeliner. And I loved it. I feel weird because I keep saying it like, I love this, or I don't know what to say about that. But I'm just in one of those moods today, <laughs> I guess. I hope we get more from Lauren Conrad in the box. I just want to try more of her products. But yes, that is everything that I got in my base box. Guys, make sure to comment down below. Um, do you think this was a good one? Do you think you, you know, if you didn't get it and you're glad you missed out on it because there were repeats in here. Um, it just depends on what you've gotten in their box previously. If you ever do get repeats, make sure to reach out to their team and they'll take care of that for you. But with them being on PR, I, I'm not going to say anything, obviously, because they just sent it to me to review. But I am glad to have gotten a second one of these. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Overall, the box was really good this month. And I cannot wait to break into this and try it out. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. I hope you're having a great day or a night. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.